We're Kevin and Stacy. We love to do projects which saves us money and allows us to take all kinds of cool adventures. One of our favorite projects that we did was building a custom cargo camper to pull behind our Jeep. And we've always been interested in doing a van build as well, but we felt like we needed to try it out first. So in our last adventure, which you can check out on our adventure channel, we tried out van life in Sedona, Arizona. In this video, we're going to compare our rescue wagon, which is our five by eight cargo camper, to the Mercedes camper van that we rented in Sedona, Arizona. Both the rescue wagon and the van have a unique, cool, outdoorsy kind of look. They look different, but they both have that outdoorsy look. In addition, they both have solar capacity. However, I will say that the van had a lot more solar capacity than we have in the rescue wagon, which is pretty limited. It does, it does charge up our portable, our portable power station, and that allows our us to keep our fridge going and we can do like our computer and electronics and things of that nature but in the van it actually pretty much runs the whole thing now the rescue wagon does have more gadgets and camping and overlanding type items directly on the exterior of the camper which comes in very handy when you are boondocking the van though has one of the coolest features that I absolutely fell in love with, and that is the rooftop deck. That rooftop deck is a game changer. And in my opinion, every single camper ever should have one of those. I know that's not possible, but they should. I'm getting a vision that I will be creating rooftop decks on every camper we own. Well, anyway, yeah. I digress. Probably. The rescue wagon has a standard 13.5 BTU AC unit but the van has an amazing 12 volt AC unit that can run on the batteries that recharge via solar or the alternator while the van is driving, which is pretty cool. They both have a garage area under the bed, but the rescue wagon garage is a bit roomier. You can fit a lot more stuff in it actually than you can in the van, which is kind of funny because the van does seem to be bigger when you look at it from the outside, but there definitely is more storage in the rescue wagon. Both the van and the rescue wagon have an outdoor cook station and an outdoor shower. One advantage that the van has is an onboard 30 gallon water tank, which makes utilizing the outdoor shower a lot more convenient. You don't have to carry the water in jugs like we do in the rescue wagon. It's already in there in that 30 gallon water tank. Both of the campers have instant hot water, but the van is electric and the rescue wagon is LP gas. The electric hot water heater uses a tremendous amount of battery power to run. The van has a very beautiful extendable tabletop while the rescue wagon has a convenient flip-up shelf. And I do use that flip-up shelf on the rescue wagon all the time. It is so nice. The van has great seating with swivel captain's chairs. The rescue wagon doesn't really have seating inside other than uh, the portable toilet and the bed. The van has a diesel heater, which I absolutely love. It keeps the van nice and toasty. The rescue wagon uses a portable electric heater and it also has a heater on the AC unit. The van is equipped with a stowable dining table and extra seat, which is really handy. The seat is kind of cool how it unfolds and you can utilize that to sit down at the dining table and have your dinner inside. In the rescue wagon, you're gonna have to eat outside if you want a table. Both the van and the rescue wagon have a kitchen with a fridge and some counter space. However, the van has a sink with running water and the rescue wagon has a microwave and more storage for dishes and food. I do really like that running water though. The van has an indoor shower and dry flush toilet. At least the van that we used had a dry flush toilet, which did cause us a little bit of challenges. You can definitely check that out in day four of our van life adventure series. That was pretty comical. The rescue wagon, it has a cassette toilet. In the rescue wagon, the bed slides out to create a full-length bed. 
In the van, the bed is not full length, which requires a bit of curling to lay down. You can open the back in both the van and the rescue wagon to have a view of the area that you're at. In the rescue wagon, there is a full length screen that keeps the bugs out, uh, and the van does not have that. In the van, you're able to stand up and not hit your head, pretty much regardless of how tall you are, unless you are like extremely tall. Uh, for me, I can pretty much stand up in anything because I'm pretty short. So the height in the rescue wagon does not allow most folks to stand up. I can, I kind of have to bend my head down just a little bit, but I still can stand up. But for most other folks, they could not stand up directly in the rescue wagon. There is a significant cost difference between the van and the rescue wagon. The van's gonna cost somewhere around $100,000, while the rescue wagon costs around $10,000. But that's not including the vehicle that you're gonna use to tow it. So if you average things out, it probably is gonna cost somewhere between 30,000 and 70,000 with the rescue wagon, depending on your vehicle. Both the van and the rescue wagon have some really great features. However, at this point, we have deduced that they both achieve similar types of camping experiences, and we're still not sold on a van build as of yet. We feel like we really need to rent a couple more vans with different layouts to really make an informed decision because the van that we rented really didn't have the type of layout that was something that we really felt like met our needs. One thing we know for sure is doing things yourself allows you to save money and be free. For more projects and videos like this, or if you're interested in building a cargo camper, you can go to our DIY channel and click on any one of our playlists. You can also visit our website at www.befreebenson.com. And if you found this video to be helpful, please subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. It really does help us out. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next project.